My name is Patricia Garcia, and I am uh, currently uh, the Partnerships Development Manager with the Institute for Economics and Peace. And I have a passion to advocate for the Sustainable Development Goals 2030 Agenda. It's wonderful to be here, and I'd like to just acknowledge the land on which I am speaking to you, uh, which is the traditional custodians of the land of the Kamerugai people of the Eora Nation. And I'd like to pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. In September 2015, all 193 countries came together for a historic and landmark meeting to formally adopt and commit to the Sustainable Development Goals 2030 Agenda. These are 17 Sustainable Development Goals with their 169 targets, which are a plan to build a future that all of us want and to transform our world to a world where we could have a peaceful, equal, inclusive and sustainable future. The Sustainable Development Goals uh, are represented by what I call the five Ps. The Sustainable Development Goals are about people, peace, the planet, prosperity and partnership. What is unique about the Sustainable Development Goals is that they are universal and they apply to all of us all the human beings in this world and are also uh, an approach in which we have uh, found that the goals are rooted in human rights, norms and principles. There are three pillars that underpin the, so the sustainable development goals. They are social development, economic development and environmental sustainability. The key here is that we can only achieve these goals if we work together. And that is why the goal of partnership is the enabling goal, the goal that is the glue that links all the other 16 goals and enables us to work on how we could achieve the goals, whether they are the goal of poverty, whether they are the goal of gender equality, the goal of reduced inequalities, the goal of life on land, or the goal of climate change and the goal of peace. For example, these are goals are important because we look at the issues in an integrated way. In other words, the sustainable development goals um, adapt what we call a systems thinking approach where the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. And in the case of Australia, as one of the countries that adopted the Sustainable Development Goals in 2015, we need to step up and accelerate our actions to find solutions and also to collaborate and take integrated action and partnerships to be able to achieve Sustainable Development Goals here in Australia. We've not really been able to show um, much progress on the SDGs. In fact, um, Australia has actually um, slipped down um, since 2015, when it was in the position of 17 ranking um, out of 165 countries. And um, this year, Australia um, is uh, in the position of 35, 35th ranking score of 165 countries, which means that Australia has been not going up and improving in the SDGs, but actually has been sliding. And um, we need now to get Australia to, to accelerate and urgently address the Sustainable Development Goals, because we only have uh, less than 3,000 days to 2030 for all of us to be able to achieve and implement all 17 Sustainable Development Goals. This is where each of us can play our part. And these goals are your goals, they are my goals. 
And because they are universal and they apply to each of us, we need to play our part to be able to take action, to find solutions, particularly creative and innovative solutions, and to work together because we cannot achieve these goals on our own. We're always better together. And this is why the goal of partnership, collaboration and solidarity is needed to be able for us to find these solutions and to be able to take um, effective and strong action to achieve the sustainable development goals. It's important that we look at the urgency to be able to take action now and to be able to understand that with all the global challenges we are facing today, we need to act now and we need to take the lead as members of the civil society to create the momentum and to support increased opportunities for all of us to do more, to be able to achieve these goals because 2030, this decade that we have ahead of us is closely approaching and we are running out of time. And there's a sense of urgency to act now. So I call on all of you that we need to take action now and to understand that these SDGs need to be addressed now and we need to wake up to be able to take this action and in many cases um, move and work together through partnerships and integrated action to be able to achieve these goals. Mm -hmm.